welcome to another edition of Driving Carelessly. Just got my hair cut. Boy, it was long. Not anymore. So, Nicki Minaj potato chips. Why would I buy Nicki Minaj potato chips? Why do they make Nicki Minaj potato chips? Well, they make Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> They make her potato chips because that's gonna make people wanna buy it and try it, right? Obviously. So I was surprised to see that because I do not look at the new products and see what's out there and I don't care. So there are these chips that are called wrap snacks, wrap snacks. And so they've got famous rappers. Some I, one I never heard of them except for her. On their cover. On their back. So I needed a tire, I thought. Went to this place. They sell used tires. I've decided that used tire places, at least I know two of them, the used tires are just as good as new tires, at least, maybe not just as good, but they last for a while, and they're a heck of a lot cheaper. So I've gotten a few used tires recently, or in the past couple years, I've bought used tires instead of new tires, and they work just as good as the new tires as far as I can tell, because they last a year, or two years and uh, by then I'm getting a new car anyway so I go to this place and they're very interesting like they don't speak English very well but they don't speak Spanish or whatever they have some people that speak Spanish and some people that speak this other language and some people that speak this other language and some people that speak this other language I suppose because of the de demographics here I suppose it's Spanish, Creole, and then some native Guatemalan languages, maybe. And then the guy that owns it seems like he's from India. He probably grew up speaking English, but, you know, with an accent that I don't have. So you pull in there, and they don't really talk to you. And no matter where you park, they're kind of mad, like, come over here. Like, no matter where you park, they, they kind of, like, want you to be somewhere else. And so you politely move your car to wherever they're, you know, they're, they're like, mad. Get over, go over here, or go over there, you know. So you politely move your car to wherever they want you to. And it's just like they want you to do something. It's like not really, like, where they, they don't really care where the car is. It's just they want to be in control of it, it seems. And so... Then there's like five, six, or eight guys running around speaking their different languages to each other and they don't seem to understand each other. And then one of them comes over and he either knows what you're talking about or he doesn't know what you're talking about. If he doesn't know what you're talking about, he just kind of listens and wanders away. If he does know what you're talking about, then he helps you. And, you know, maybe one, two, or three guys need to come over until one of the guys knows what you're talking about and he helps you. And so they took the tire off of the car, took the rim and the tire off of the car, put it in water to see if it had a leak, discovered, it took them a little while, discovered that it was a leak where the rim touches the tire so I don't need a new tire they just sealed it or glued it to the rim better and charged me 20 bucks 20 bucks you can't get any work done on your car for 20 bucks so they could have very easily said I needed a new tire and tried to sell me a new used tire for 50 bucks like they've done in the past 50 bucks for an installed used tire that's going to last a year or two. Good deal, right? But instead, they glued it and charged me 20 bucks. 
So, because they charged me so little, I decided to go in their store and buy something. You can't really give the, I don't know, I didn't feel like I could give the owner a tip. But the guy that changed the tire, I gave him a $2 tip. But I just thought, okay, so they did me a solid, let me buy something from their store. So these are wrapped chips, wrapped snacks, sour cream truffle flavor potato chips. And they're pretty much terrible. Not really, they're just extra salty. Sour cream truffle flavor. So my first instinct was to turn the bag over and look at the ingredients because they're not going to have truffle oil in these potato chips, are they? And they're certainly not going to have truffle pieces. So what they do have is shiitake mushroom, you know, powder or whatever. So they have what's called sour cream and ranch seasoning in the ingredients. They don't use those terms on the packaging. They don't use the term ranch. And that contains shiitake mushroom and cheddar cheese and the, all the usual suspects. But basically, it just tastes like salt. It tastes like sour cream and onion potato chips with a little truffle mushroom something flavor. A little, you know, a little depth of flavor beyond sour cream and onion. A little dirt flavor, mushroom flavor, truffle flavor, whatever you want to call it. You know, like beets. It tastes a little bit like dirt. I like it. And it's too much salt. So I ate a couple. I'm going to try them again. I'm pretty sure that when you add a lot of salt, stuff tastes too salty. Maybe tomorrow morning when I haven't had any salt, maybe they'll taste better, but they ain't gonna be that great. So, that's my story time for today. I hope everybody's gonna have a great Easter. It is April 5th, 2023. Tomorrow is Maundy Thursday. Maundy is a word that I look up now and then to see if anybody's figured it out. It's mysterious to me that they can't come up with a better definition for it since it's from the Middle Ages when everything in the calendar was very documented and, you know, you had this monolithic belief system and Holy Week is the most important week of the year for 1,500 years. So it seems like they could have a better definition for Maundy. So we've got, before the 40 days of Lent, we've got Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, also known as Carnival, Carnival. Then we've got Ash Wednesday, which kicks off the 40 days of Lent. Ash, put ashes on your head. Remember that you are ashes to ashes and dust to dust. You start Lent. No surprise, Mardi Gras has become more famous than Ash Wednesday. Then you got the 40 days excluding Sundays. So 40 plus days that lead up to Easter. And that last week is the focus of the Christian story. So you've got Genesis 1, which some people say is primordial ages, but it's six days. And then you've got hundreds of years encompassed in just a few verses. You know, some people say millennia, but then it gets to hundreds of years encompassed in just a few verses. And then you've got Holy Week where complete chapters are devoted to just one or two days. So each of those days in the medieval calendar was important 
in that last week of Christ's life, Holy Week, Passion Week, and some of them have names. Maundy Thursday is tomorrow, Good Friday, and then Easter. And then in between, some of them name Holy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Holy Saturday, and so forth. Seems to me all that would be more clearly delineated, but it is not, or at least it's not known to be more clearly delineated to me. So, happy Easter everybody. We'll see if there's going to be a video between now and then, or if we're going to go back to a long time in between videos. Just take care everybody.